So I wasn't super well prepared, or well, I was prepared, but the problem I was doing only took 15 minutes. So I'm just randomly picking projects, uh, problems, and solving them. And Kaisi has suggested the Code Wars website, so I just signed up for that, and we're trying to solve this first random problem that came up. Uh, it doesn't have note 10 even. Okay. I think next time I do one big problem again outside of these websites so I can pick Note 10 and use some modern ES next features. Okay, return the number of vowels in the given string. Okay, and we have these five vowels. Uh, thanks for the follow. Kurayo. Kurayo? All right, thanks for joining. Uh, hi, Dan Pandel. Good seeing you again. Oh, hi, Finna. Oh my gosh, you are way too quick for me. You're just ruining the problem. I'm just reading the input. All right, so we get a string and we're supposed to do a vowel count. Now, what I would naively would have done is for const character of the string. And then I would have put five if statements here. Um, but let's not do... Yeah, let's not do five if statements. Okay, so Finn, Finn is Finn the right name to say for you? Or should I say Finna or something else? Um, uh, hi, you lemming. Okay, go regex. All right, let's do a regex. So I want to say char dot match if the character is matching this regex, then I want to okay. Honestly, I'm a little bit miserable typing here because there is zero formatting or code completion. Okay, and what do we need to match? We need to match um, A or E or I or O or U. Does that look right? Okay, I have passed all of the tests. Oh, I'm supposed to click attempt first for one test. Okay. Where's the submit button? All right, I know. Oh, okay, cool, Finn's fine, thank you. Okay, and you're saying instead of going through the whole string, I can do a string that match. And I'm matching globally, like I want all of them. A A I O U and what does that even look like? Okay, so string is equal to this, and now we're doing String that match all of those globally. Oh, and we get an array of all the solutions. So if we just take dot length, then we have it. Okay. Um, run, what's the difference between attempt and run sample tests? Oh yeah, test your solution using the example tests. An attempt is doing, runs your solution against the full test suite. Okay, so I first want the left button. Works, all the test cases, ooh, bummer. Should return zero, okay. So we want to return this or 
empty string the length, right? Yep, cool. All right, so where are these other solutions that I can see? Okay, do I need to submit this now? What's the deal here? Oh, unlock, so, oh, submit final, okay. Gotcha. Well, I think uh, Finn already gave us the most clever solution here. Like, I think this is pretty sweet. Okay, submitting. I think we're very satisfied, right? Okay. Oh yeah, uh, that's the one we got. Oh, you know what? We completely forgot about uppercase letters, but I guess we only had lowercase letters. And I was using the empty string instead of an empty array. Because it really doesn't matter, but the match is returning an array, so this is a little bit cleaner. Um, so can I get the clever? What's clever? It's hard to tell if the site is just slow. Oh yeah, there's a status bar here. Oh, hey Robin, how's, how's it going? All right, so it looks like clever is the same as best practice, which is very nice. Um, okay, splitting and then they are filtering for a function. Um, they're filtering if roles includes the level. And then they take the length of this. Uh, I'm good, I already did some housework this morning, ran some laundry. Um, the problem that I had prepared for today that I was done in 15 minutes, so now we're just looking at different websites, doing random problems. And I really like that you can sort here by clever and best practices. What I don't like is that while you type the problem, you have zero editor support, and that just kind of annoys me. So I think I won't stick with this side. Um, but somebody here suggested doing 